In today's fast-paced digital workspace, effective communication is key. That's where Alerts Fusion for SharePoint comes in. It's a powerful tool designed to help you deliver messages that capture your audience's attention, ensuring they never miss an important update. With Alerts Fusion, whether you're sharing important announcements or engaging users with dynamic content, Alerts Fusion makes it simple to do so with ease. Let me explain each configuration in detail. Trigger configuration, this allows you to set the trigger, which can be a button, image, or link. You can also customize the button text, it could be anything as per your need. Once changed, just click Apply to see changes in the editor. Next, we have Image, which allows you to select Trigger Image from SharePoint, as well as from Local Storage. It also allows you to manage Trigger Image Width and Trigger Image Height in pixels. Next, we have the Link feature, which allows you to add a Trigger Link text. Whether it's a call to action like Learn More or Get Started, the goal is to make it clear, engaging, and relevant. Next, we have Alert Configurations, where you can select Alert Type. Let me explain you all. First, we have Alert, which allows you to select Alert Open Event and Alert Position. Click Apply to see changes. You can see that we have Alert. Next, we have the Carousel Message Alert Type. This allows you to create a fully customizable carousel-style message to showcase multiple slides of content in one smooth interactive experience. With Carousel Message, you can easily set the carousel bar color and the carousel text color to match your branding or theme, ensuring a consistent look and feel across your platform. Next, we have the Message Alert Type, which allows the use of a message open event and supports different message bar types, including info, block, success, error warning, and severe warning. It also comes with additional features such as Show, multi-line message bar for displaying longer messages, Show Expand button toggle to reveal or hide extended content, Message Bar position to control where the bar appears on the screen, and the ability to auto-dismiss the message bar after a specific time, ensuring a smooth and non-intrusive user experience. Next, we have the Panel Alert Type, which offers the capability to add a panel title and choose a panel title style from a predefined drop-down selection. Additionally, most of the alert types include the feature to schedule visibility between specific dates and times, allowing precise control over when alerts are shown. Next, we have the pop-up alert type, which allows you to add pop-up alerts for SharePoint. It includes the capability to redirect users on close by simply enabling the option and providing the redirect URL along with the redirect target with pop-up position and pop-up animation. Next, we have the content configuration section, which allows you to customize the alerts border, width, and height. You can also select the alert source. With the Rich Text Editor option, you can easily add custom text directly within the box. The HTML Editor option allows you to insert and edit custom HTML code. Lastly, by selecting the Page URL option, you can either add a direct page URL, which can be any external as well as internal URL, or it has feature to get content from a SharePoint list, by default, the Alert Config list is provided, which stores the content and settings for your alerts. You can easily access this list directly in SharePoint by clicking on Open Selected List. Within the list, you have the flexibility to add additional columns based on your requirements. This allows you to manage dynamic content directly from the SharePoint list, ensuring that updates can be made without needing to modify the web part itself. Next, you need to simply select the column containing the desired information, and the next dropdown will automatically populate with the available data from that column. You can then easily choose the appropriate item value from the list. Once it's done, click Apply to see the changes. As of now, we have an on-click alert, so we need to click Show Message to see the alert. As you can see, the alert is now displayed, and the content is being pulled directly from the SharePoint list. Now, let's see how you can add an action button within the alert. To do this, scroll to the top and locate the Alert Configuration section. There, you will find the option to Enable Show Action button. Simply enable this option, then provide the desired text for the button in the Alert Button text field, and add the redirection URL in the Alert Button Redirection link field. 
In this example, I have created a form, so I will use the form URL as the redirection link. Once completed, review all the configurations to ensure that you have entered the correct URL. If needed, you can also update the alert message. At this stage, I am using the one already available in my SharePoint list. After verifying the details, click Apply and then select Show Message to preview the changes. You will now see that a button has been added to the alert, and upon clicking it, you will be redirected to the form specified in the Alert Button Redirection link. Next, we have the Target Audience feature, where you can enable audience targeting. This allows you to search for and select individual users, as well as target specific groups, ensuring your alerts reach the right audience. Thanks for watching. Get started with Alerts Fusion today to enhance your SharePoint experience and make sure your important messages stand out.